Hey, welcome to another video. This one is going to be on finding your passion, your zest for life, your love for life. How do you find it? If you're finding yourself unpassionate for life and just finding yourself a little lost, you don't know what to do with it. I mean, you have this life within you, this energy, you're unique, you're amazing. There is something you can do, there is some way you can contribute. If you're comparing yourself to others and what they do, this is a mistake. And I say mistake as in you're mistaking an opportunity to realize how unique you are. Every single person is unique as their fingerprint. No one is the same. You have your own experiences, whatever they are. And each one of your experiences is going to have given you some sort of unique value to your life. So you've got to find it. Now, how do you find what you love? How do you find what you're passionate about? What I like to do is find your biggest fears. Yeah? Watch my video on fears as well. If that helps, if you've got a lot of fears in your life or worries or anxiety, check out them videos. But find what you're most fearful of. Where's your biggest fears like? What do you, what do you fear? Yeah, for me, like I said, I fear, or feared, because I don't know, I feared death. Yeah. I feared dying. So, to me, once I reflected on this through meditation, through, through just time, through experience, through finding self-love and value, I realized to me that meant that life was so precious and I want to contribute so much. That I'm scared and worried that if I die, I haven't fulfilled that achievement. I haven't done it. Yeah? And it was also waiting. I was also waiting. I was like, well, I will do it. But one day I need to get to this age and accomplish this many things and done this and done that. Then I'll feel good because I've done what I'm so passionate about and what I love. And I've achieved it. I was so looking at the end result. Yeah? Waiting to get somewhere and not loving the journey along the way. And as my life went through, I never got to the place. I thought I'm now 33 years young. Yeah, and I thought at this age, when I was in my 20s, early 20s, even when I was 15 to be honest, when I was young, I thought I'd have about three kids by now, I don't have any. <laughs> I thought I'd be married, I thought I'd have all these things, yeah? And I did get married when I was young, it didn't work out. <laughs> Check that in another video, I do talk about that. Check out my relationship video. Yeah, I am in a loving relationship now. And it works so much better, the fact that I love myself. I don't have to burden her with all them stresses and all that trouble that I did with my past. Yeah, because I found value in myself and I value myself. So not only does it uplift my partner, it keeps me going and keeps others I interact with up. Because I have love and value for myself. Knowing what I want to do, knowing how I want to do it, and that's contributing. Yeah, part of that is this YouTube channel, putting out some of my experiences to share the value with others. Because I shared that value with people that I've met and come in contact with. Just out of conversation, you know, with friends and just as I've matured and got older. They've asked questions about my past, they've asked things about me, or they've expressed some problems they're having, and I've been able to give them some insight through experiences I have had that I never thought I would share. Apologies if the audio is a little crackly, the wind is a little bit much at the moment, and my mic picks up the sounds. I don't know if you can hear the bugs as well, there's the loudest bugs in the world here, and they're noisy. And um, yeah, so finding that value, and when I shared it with them, and I told them about my past, I told them growing up with a mum that had severe mental illness. I told them about being in poverty, going days without food, getting food parcels. I told them these things I never thought I would share. Because I didn't see the value at the time. And I saw them be inspired. I saw it give them actual hope and light. Because they saw someone that doesn't want to cause harm, has been through traumas, and still wants to live a good life. And when I say a good life, that's to me a life where you don't want to hurt, you don't want to be destructive to yourself, and you don't want to be destructive to, destructive to others. Now turning a good life to a great life, it's once you start sharing that. And it is about the sharing, it is about the connecting. So I'm hoping that I can connect with you, share with you, share my love for life, share my passions, share my dreams. Yeah, and that can help inspire you. You know, because it isn't it doesn't have to be bad if you're having a bad life internally. Yeah, so in your internal self, that is where you have control. If anything's obvious, it's that your outer world isn't in your control, it doesn't always go to plan. Things can happen like viruses and shut down everything when you've got so many plans, so much you want to do, places you need to go, things you need to do, and just suddenly things have changed. So you didn't have control over that. Now you can try and be active towards it and do things to make a change, but internally how you feel, that is within your control and that is something you can work on. Now check my other videos on self-love, worth and value. These are, these are just insights into ways you can find it for yourself if you don't have it. Maybe you haven't been looking for it. Maybe you think that you can't have love for yourself. Maybe you don't think you have value and worth, and you do. You have a lot of it. Everybody does. Like I said, you're all unique. Whoever you are watching this right now, you are so unique. You have never existed. Nobody ever 
has been through your same set of experiences with your mindset and done what you've done. So whatever it is, no matter how small it may seem to you, it's significant. Yeah? And that significance holds with it some gems, it holds with it some weight. And once you share it and contribute with others, that's when you start to see it and see the value in it. So open yourself up, open your heart up to embracing, sharing your stories, sharing your past in a loving way. You know, let people know. And like I said, once you build your own self-worth, self-love, that help build your confidence and help build you into being able to share these things with ease and make it easier for other people. But finding your fears and the counterbalance to your fears, like I said, love is the counter to fear. Check out my video on fear to see that in a better explanation. But once you know what your fear is, the counter is sitting right there. That's your passion, that's your, that's, that's your drive, that's your fuel. It's something you fear so much that you just need to think and meditate on. And you'll find what you love. Yeah? You may need to write it down and, and really think about it. Maybe write it down on a little piece of paper, like business card. Keep it in your wallet, keep it in your purse. Yeah? And then just, that will keep it in your mind and it'll keep you thinking about it. It'll keep it running in your sub subconscious and you'll, you, you'll come to a solution on how you can change that fear into value. How you can turn that into something that you need to act on, something that you need to do, something that you love. And like I said, it doesn't have to even be something that anyone else thinks of you or thinks you should do. You know, make your own choices. Talk with other people. Take on their perspective. Take on their opinions. But you don't need to hold them as your own. You have your own mind, your own control, and your own life. Let them live their life. You live your life. And maybe you can be an example to others. And it's all about taking that suffering out. I worried and had fears that other people would suffer the life that I suffered and the things that I suffered. Yeah, and I wanted to do things and change things to contribute to try and change that so people don't have to suffer so much. Because so many things I went through, someone could have come along and changed it and made it so I didn't have to suffer that experience. And I spent time in my life, time travelling backwards in my mind, constantly thinking, what if, or if this went that way, or if only this person did this. I wasted a lot of my imagination on them thoughts. Now I appreciate them moments. I'm happy I went through every single experience that I did, no matter how traumatizing it was at the time, because now it gives me an even more unique perspective on the situation. It gives me some insight into that area, something unique for me that I can share with others. I'm sharing it with you now. I share it with people I meet, I share it with my loved one. And it grows our life, grows our partnership. Yeah. I share more with my family now. And it, it changes things for the better. And it's all about that improvement. Things have to get better, not worse. And it starts with internal work. Internally making things better. So that then externally things are better. So do some internal work. Work on yourself. Love yourself. And start writing down your fears. Yeah? Think about them. And try and see how you can change that fear into something that you love. A cause that you want to fight for for yourself what your passion is, what your desire is. And try and think, how are you going to be of service to others? And in turn, you'll be serving yourself. All right, much love. Have a great day. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it. And check out my other, other videos. Subscribe. Hit that little bell to get notifications when I put up new videos. And have a great day wherever you are.